My name is Debo Adedaya, uh, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni. Um, so I want to thank everyone out there, you know, for uh, speaking up. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the show of love. My phones are bad, so I can't even really take calls or reply messages and all that. But I'm here. Um, <clears throat> I'm in my house. I'm I'm okay, uh, you know. So and I also just want to address one or two things. You know about the recent events um not like don't be saying i'm a brave person <laughs> you understand no no be saying i'm brave in fact i was scared i was very scared i didn't want to go out at all my, my, my father called me you know all, all my siblings my family members everyone called me my friends don't go out don't go out and in all honesty in my heart of hearts i did not want to go out you know and but the only reason i went there is because i knew that people would be there and in good conscience, I, I don't know. I knew people would die. I knew people would die. People would die again, and I saw it. I can confirm to you that if word did not get out, people would have died because nobody would have known where anybody was or who picked up who, and all of that. In fact, I was I was, I was a lucky face one first. I was about shooting. That's to tell you that I didn't really want to go because I was scared. And I see, I don't think anyone should be talking about maybe celebrities came out or they did not come out. Or, no, the, the situation that we are in in this country is, is deep shit. You cannot blame anyone. People are scared. I'm, you think I'm not scared? People are scared for their lives. And we know that we are in a government that has zero value for human lives. Like, they don't care at all. They will kill anybody. They will dehumanize anybody just to make sure that, like what they want to do just to make sure that they do it so it's not this is not the time to be saying oh where are the celebrities oh where are the rest oh where are these we don't need all of that what we need is one love one unity we need to come together to speak against what is going on in our society that's that's all that's all so i was scared but if i already heard that about two three people were already arrested and I knew there's no see. Let me tell, so because I saw it in my eyes we were, when we we're picked up, we we're taken to um, Adeniji, you know, where we were beaten, we were stripped naked, like, <laughs> and everyone was beaten. So when, when people, I'm, I'm, I asked them to already help me put out the names of the 39 um, guys that were with me, male and female alike. So when I see people calling my name, like I said, I didn't have the strength to go out. It wasn't even me. It was these 39 people that were out that, you know, gave the ginger for me to even say, ah, let me go and see what is happening. You understand? So these are the real heroes. <laughs> you get, they are the true heroes because they went out and they said, look, we're not here to fight you. We're just here to ask why you want to open the toll gate. Is that the next thing to do? Nobody would have come out. This would never have happened if you were not talking about want to open the toll gate. What have we have we gotten justice for anything that happened last year? A lot of families left in in years of sorrow because they lost loved ones and all of that. Business businesses destroyed. Is so opening the toll gate is that the next line of action? Nobody supports um, violence. Nobody supports killings or destruction of properties. But we need to come together to talk to the government. The government is responsible for protection. So let me ask, you had over 200 policemen out there yesterday and you want to tell me you could not see, you could not guarantee a peaceful protest if there was going to be one? It shows that you guys are irresponsible. All of you are irresponsible. We're beating, like, we're, we're beating. They will just come, and are you up? So let me tell you guys, it's a serious war out there. These people don't care. They will kill anybody. If word was not out that people were already being arrested, oh, they took this, they took that. If word was not out, people would have died clean and clear. They, they were saying it, they were telling us that like, we'll shoot you, nothing will happen. If it was night, all of them don't die. You understand? So we're in serious shit. We're in serious shit. But it's not enough to silence our voices. Because at the end of the day, what, what, what are we saying? What are we saying? We're just saying you cannot continue to oppress us. For how long? We, okay, now you don't do them now. You don't beat, beat us, you won't kill us. And it should be at the end of the day, we to go end up like death, isn't it? You understand? But at least, we, 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 as we get the voice, we go still use and talk. 
you know so guys i'm at least for now i'm okay and here lastly let me let me just give this i don't believe in curses i know they like curse because i don't believe in them so, but i want to do this quick one for anybody that is saying that i collected money from ati cook abi whoever it is you are thinking i collected money from that's your number one that's your business but if i did not collect any money from anybody you will not go no peace for the rest of your life except that i collect money from anybody well, I know a lot of people believe that shit. And people that know me personally know that I've been fighting. I speak for myself and people around me since since I don't since I don't get sense. Right from my secondary school. I don't they speak for myself and people with there around me since my secondary school. So people that know me know that. So but you will you think I collect money from I'll you they spread them say I collect money from one person, you understand? And except I collect money from that person, you you know go no peace, your children go suffer. Yo, I know like look at you see i just want them you understand so i'm going i'm going to the hospital you know just for um a complete check i have bruises all over they beat me they beat me where they say i go get sense you know so i'm going for check up then when i'm okay we uh, find time to talk and everything but for now i want to thank everyone all the lawyers um everyone everyone that was instrumental in, in the release and everything. I just want to say thank you. Like I said, my phones are bad. They destroyed my phones as well and, every, and everything. But I want to say God bless everyone and thank you.